Hey everyone, so I've been working on a little bit of a project here. I just had the idea, like, can I make a build-in just by terraforming? Now with this build-in, I did start off with uh, kind of a frame. I got the foundation and put the HUD on. And I just equipped the construction hammer. So to go to terraform, you go to the very bottom there. And you can left-click the place, right-click to remove. So you can do things like uh, use farm soil. So for the roof, I just used regular dirt. But actually, if I had have used farm soil, any of the plants I put up there would grow four times faster. But yeah, you can use a... Uh, I just used dirt to build this build-in. I'll go to one is a square. I guess I must have filled this in a bit. But uh, here's my humble home. I think it looks really cool inside. Yeah, so I just followed the, the walls. And with the block, I made sure most of it was... Like one third was inside. Two thirds were sticking out. I have to refine this a lot. But I kind of like the way this looks. And then for the ceiling... Or the roof. So... It's not all, like, bloomed fully, but we got chamomile, uh, flax, and strawberries. And I have indigo, but it's not finished growing yet. Sometimes when you get too close to the edge and you try to plant it, it'll place it, but it'll disappear, like, five seconds later. Now, for the main building, I tried to put farm soil, and it was just too steep. I could place the seedling, but then a few seconds later, it would disappear. So that's unfortunate, but this looks pretty cool. You can plant it fairly close together. I got tired of doing it like right beside each other, going like kind of inch by inch. It was very difficult. So I ended up just running around and spamming the the button to plant it. But yeah, that's kind of cool. So unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of tools for terraforming. Uh, I think I used... You can rotate at least. Seven is less steep. So you, you definitely have to do that if you want to get your own garden rooftop. And initially I had come, I had uh, went out this far. But I just found that the way I was looking, I just chiseled it all the way back to, to the edge there to get a nice, nice flat and clean look. I could do that the sides, but I think the sides were, were okay. And it was a fun project. It might even be easier uh, to do one without using like a frame, using the walls and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do that right now. I'll just do a, a quick test. Uh, let's find a spot for that. Yeah, I think back here we've got enough room. Yeah, so I can actually just... So you could use regular stone, I think you could use uh, sandstone, anything that's not refined. So I guess it's not too hard just to do the whole thing out of soil. And you might get your windows looking a, a bit better. I wanted to have an actual window frame inside there, so that's why I went, went with the walls. But uh, for this, it might look okay just having an, an empty space. Now, this is working out quite well, actually. If you make a mistake, you can you, if you make a mistake, you can press Y, and it'll just undo the last action you did. I probably have to come out a little bit more right there, I think. Okay, we'll just look at that. Yeah, it's... Wow, it's looking real straight. I can go down a little bit more. I'd probably just lay down a foundation inside. You can use number six for that. I think that would look well. Yeah, this turned out really well. There's a little bit, I think. That's... Yeah, I can just press Y and I can undo that. And then for the windows... Just do number one. You just right click to remove it. 
super easy though. If you if you don't like it afterwards, you can just fill it back in and then try again. So I'm just gonna finish this off and then we'll try to put in the doorway. Okay, just roughly did this. I didn't want to go and do too much work here. I'm just gonna right click that. I was kind of rushing it and then it's very easy to get kind of misaligned there and you can't get it you can't get it back up back to where it was. And unfortunately there's no like snap tool for it where you press X. Yeah, this is a very interesting way to build. It's very cheap. All you have to do is take your pickaxe and mine the topsoil. And then for the roof, uh, I think it was number seven. Uh, that was pretty low. It's a little bit tricky putting that on. Uh, but when, you can use the uh, Q in the mouse wheel to pull it in or push it out. I had to go a little bit further like that. There we go. I think it's always good to start from one side and then go to the other. And, and instead of trying to start from both sides and meet in the middle, it rarely turns out well. Because in this instance, I can just, I guess, raise it up a little bit. Let's see if I can do that. So it's a little bit bumpy, but actually it doesn't look that bad. And they just use the square to fill in. So actually, I should have switched to uh, farming soil. Just for the roof. That's probably sticking out. No, that's fine. But yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. I just kind of like trying out these new, uh, different ways of doing things in this game. There's so much you can do in Enshrouded. It's it's an incredible game. So I kind of I really messed this up. I'm just trying to do it quickly. But uh, if you do get a roof, it will count as shelter. Just put just place a fireplace. You can put uh, uh, fire torches on the wall. I forget what they call those things. Uh, you can place things though. It functions just like a normal wall. I don't know if you can place a window. Let's try that. So thankfully I had one window just in storage. So yeah, you could place a window. Just You're going to have to try to fill it in. And this is where it's very finicky trying to do stuff. I wish they had smaller shapes. But, uh, it, you could probably get it kind of close. Uh, I'd have to switch to number three for that. Yeah, actually, that might be a good way to fill in for the top of the, the window, window frame. Yeah, so that's actually not too bad. You can get it pretty close. I had a lot of trouble with that on this house. Especially by the door frame and having the windows so close to the door frame uh, made it even harder. But uh, still, I, I would avoid doing that. But yeah, you can actually place the window frames with uh, this type of house. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.